Alrighty, we have an electric heater that we're going to be hooking up a thermostat on. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground, red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220 volt circuit such as what we have here, we will find a white wire live. This is a baseboard electric heater. It's on a double pole 20 amp breaker. Okay, so we have our ground wire here. We have our green screw that goes in the heater. So we'll put that in here. Okay, we can fold it up, get it up out of our way here. Okay, we have our black and white power coming in. This is our thermostat. The power comes in, goes in the two red wires. Power goes out to the heater with the two black wires. So we'll take, we'll get our two red wires hooked up to our black and white from the power. Okay, so we'll get our strands together here. Put them all together here. Okay, we'll get our uh, Insulation lined up with the insulation on the bottom, our strands even at the top, like that. Put our wire nut on. We'll get them together. Get them nice and tight here. Okay, now we'll take our black wire from the power. Get our strands here. Get our insulation even at the bottom and our copper even at the top like that here. Get our wire nut, we'll turn it in here, we'll just start spinning it so the spring grabs all the strands of the wire. Make sure it's nice tight. I'll look down inside, make sure our Insulation is down into the uh, wire nut the way we want it. Okay, now we'll take our load wires, and it doesn't matter which one goes where. We'll get them lined up even like this here. Copper even at the top, insulation even at the bottom. Put our wire nut on. This is the load side. So there's our black. Now we'll take our other wire. We'll get them lined up, get our insulation. Well, I don't know where my wire nut went, but if I don't find it, I'll just thank my Lord and Savior. I have to go get another one. Amen. Just praise Him and. Worship him and don't frustrate over anything at all. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. I don't frustrate. I don't curse. I don't take the Lord's name in vain. I just...
praise Him. I just worship Him. I'm focused on Him. And I don't care about losing stuff and losing things. Amen. Precious Jesus, precious Jesus, hallelujah, precious Jesus, that's all I care about. I don't care about that lost wire knot. I just want to praise and please my Heavenly Father, amen? So we get our insulation even at the bottom here, get our copper even at the top there like this. We'll get our wire started, we'll just start twisting it until we hear the spring grab the wires. Make sure it's nice and tight. And this is the one you don't cut. And we'll just look down inside, make sure our insulation is in the wire nut the way we want them. I'll stick this in here so I'll, just so you could, for show purposes, I'll get the camera down here so you can see up close how it's hooked up. You can uh, pause the video to read the instructions. So we got this out of the way here. Okay. So snap our piece back into here like this. Take some over here. Snap it down. There, we have it in on this side and in under the cover on this side. Make sure our wire is not pinched there. We stick our end piece in over here. So we'll put this piece back in. So we'll fold our wires back in so out of our way here. So we'll get our wires so that they go down in like this. Make sure everything's all back out of our way here. So, okay, we'll get our wires in, make sure nothing is pinched. We'll set this in over this and we'll make sure nothing is pinched anywhere. Got them all folded back like that there. One up here, bring this down. Get our hole lined up here. Make sure it's on here nice and tight. No wires are pinched. And we'll put this up all the way on our high setting. There's off. And there we go up all the way. Now 
No, we had to use MC cable because we're up a little bit. So there's our junction box. And that is where our wire goes up to our heater. Goes past there and goes up right there. Okay, we're going to use our amp probe here. We're going to see how much amperage this draw. We're going to put it all the way up here on the 20 amps. We'll click our breaker on and we'll see how many amps we are drawing with this new electric heater. You can see 2.7 Seven. So we're drawing close to uh, three amps. Come here, Calico. Calico, come here. Come here, Calico. Calico, come here. Calico. Yeah. So this is my kitty, and that is how to install an electric heater and wire it properly here in the country I was born in. I love you, Calico. You're a very pretty cat. Yeah. I love Calico. I just love Calico. I love Calico. Isn't she a pretty cat? No. Yeah.